Hello, YouTube community. So this is me showing you how to take apart um, an HP Simple Save external desktop hard drive. Um, making this video because, quite frankly, I can't find one on the internet on how to take one of these apart. So here it goes. Um, this is a two terabyte model. I got it from Staples Business Depot uh, here in the Great White North of Canada, and as you can see. As many people fail to believe, it is not snowing here right now. Lots of people think we live in igloos. We don't. Um, anyways, so I'm going to take this bad boy apart because uh, the way this particular drive works, actually the way all of the HP drives work, is they're called Simple Safe for a reason. They have really, really straightforward and simple backup software on them. It's so simple that it doesn't backup hidden files. Now that's fine if you're a normal user, but a power user or more of a computer tech likes software that will back up everything. Um, that being said though, this drive makes a great gift to grandparents or anybody who's, you know, maybe even just your regular parents who aren't too savvy with a computer but want their stuff backed up, it'll back up their photos, their music, all the common office formats. Really simply you just plug it in and it does its thing. Literally there's no buttons on it. Um, but the way that that software works is HP or Western Digital, because they're the ones who actually make this product, um, have put a partition a, a uh, hard drive and then there's a CD-ROM that it emulates on your computer. So it's going to show up as two drives. Kind of annoying, again, if you're a techie. If you're a standard level user, who cares? Um, and you can't remove it, which is a bummer. Well, in theory, you can't remove it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, like you saw me do, there's four screws underneath these rubber flaps. Really simple. Um, They've got a couple of rubber grommets here and at the bottom as well to kind of give you extra protection if you drop it. If you do drop it, hopefully it's off when you do so. Um, I need to stop saying um. This is the light, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's a, it's a clear piece of plastic and the light's here and it shines through it. Now I've colored it black and covered it in Avery labels because one person on the HP forums, a Mac user, said that they didn't like how, you know, the light comes out the front, that's fine, but it also glows out the side and comes out the bottom, the side of the thing comes out the bottom, as well as they were saying it comes out the top, which I can find, you know, that's an aesthetic thing. I would expect just the front to light up, but whatever. It's some people. Oh, and by the way, this doesn't work. This actually makes the light really dull at the front and does not really do anything to block it out here. So don't do it. I'm going to have to rip those labels off and whatnot. Anyway, so you continue to take it apart. There's, like I showed, a couple of rubber grommets here. They only fit one way. So if you're good with Lego, you can put it back together. If you're not, then you'll have to ask somebody to help you. Um, the drive just kind of wiggles out like so. Um, and as you can see, as I said before, inside you've got a Western Digital. It's a two terabyte model. Uh, conventional drives spin at 7200 RPM. The slower speed ones spin at 5400 RPM. This is a Caviar Green, so I'm not sure if it's 5400 RPM or if it's the odd 5900 RPM that some Western Digitals have gotten into spinning at. Um, you can leave a comment let me know if you want, but I really don't care. It'd be nice to know, but it's not a biggie. Anyways, um, and if you enter the serial number and model or whatever on their site, you won't get warranty for it, period. You have to contact HP, even though it is a Western Digital Drive, unfortunately. So, the whole beef about this was removing the CD drive emulation fake thingy that's on here. Um, yeah, the reason they did that is because auto-run 
on Windows will automatically run the software off a CD drive, whereas a hard drive it will not. So I guess that was their intent. But the CD drive, th this is the CD drive. In quotes, because it doesn't look anything like a CD drive. But it basically makes the computer think it's running a CD drive again, so it can automatically run. But it's just a standard SATA um, power and data interface with your 12 volt 1.5 amp connector and USB A to Mini B, I believe. Anyways, I guess you could hook that up with any hard drive if you wanted to, in case you needed an external controller of some kind. And then the drive just, thankfully, uses standard SATA. So, in theory, the whole point of taking this apart was you could pop this into your computer, 2 terabyte drive, uh, format it and you would have no HP software. It would function like an off-the-shelf 2 terabyte drive. But because this whole thing was $99 clearance, um, it kicks the crap out of 2 terabyte drive prices retail. I mean, you can go online at NCIX and Tiger Direct or Newegg and get a 2 terabyte drive for sometimes $80 on special now. And that's kind of a standard because they have 3 terabytes out now, but for retail in a store such as Staples or Future Shop or Best Buy, this is a hell of a deal for two terabytes. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put the whole guy back together now. Reason why you might ask, why am I putting it back together if I took it apart and explained how good it is apart because I'm a techie? Um, because one, I don't have room in my case for more hard drives. It's a media type case, so it's meant to go beside your TV and there's only two hard drive bays, they're full. Um, the other reason is because I quite like the software, even though it is a CD partition and it's annoying, I quite like the software that's built into the chip for power management because if you shut down your computer, the drive completely shuts off. It doesn't just go into a low power state, it shuts itself off. Um, if your computer goes to sleep or is idle for 10 minutes or whatever, it goes into a low power state, um, which is slower spinning than Windows low power state of hard drives. Again, saves a bit on energy, keeps the life of the hard drive uh, up there. Um, now, Getting this back in here looked easy for me. I've taken it apart a few times, but you might have to wiggle it a bit and get it in there because it's quite a snug fit at the bottom with the rubber grommets. So I'm going to put these ones back. Clip this in here. should probably take those off, but... Why not? And that, YouTube, is how you remove Avery labels. Not that anyone couldn't figure that out before. And this part takes a little bit of, again, maneuvering because the rubber grommets are quite snug fitting. You're going to have to kind of play with it a little bit to uh, get it to fit in there. Now there's going to be a lot of comments on that's what she said jokes. But that's what YouTube is all about. Uh, you do up the screws, and I mean, I'm pretty sure you can figure it out from here, but do up the screws, and you're back in business. And just in case anyone wanted to look at my serial numbers or anything. I, I don't care. I've already run them all through and they don't give you warranty anyways. You have to call HP. So that is how you take apart and put back together the HP Simple Save uh, external desktop hard drive. It's a 2 terabyte model again for 99 bucks clearance from Staples Business Depot here in the Great White North, Canada. Um, for retail, that is a hell of a deal. But if you know where to look, NCIX.com is my favorite, or Tiger Direct if you want another alternative. Um, pretty darn, pretty darn cheap to get two terabytes nowadays. But retail, hundred bucks is dirt cheap.